bring up my support. I'll open the statement. Your comments. I'll take questions, guys. What got into Taylor? Just as far as like what he what you saw from him, he was just really good shooting from outside and creating his own shot. Yeah, I thought he um, and we needed it. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about it. Um, you know, each time I was trying to chop away at the lead a little bit. We talked about putting a little game pressure on those guys. They played with a lead, and we felt like if we could get the game a little bit tighter, it'd be tighter for them. But I, I thought they made shots. He did a good job, and especially with Horn out, you know, we needed somebody else. We, you know, we were losing. We lost our 17, 18 point score, and we needed someone to step up. And I thought he played really big down the stretch for us. This team look any different from the last time you saw it a month ago? Pitt. Yeah. No, I just think they're. I think those guards have grown up, and um, you know, early in the year, you know, because they're young guys, may have forced a couple things. I think that now they're playing within this uh, system, and you know, Henson is such a good player, but I didn't think tonight he forced a bunch of shots. I thought he maybe one or two, but he kind of played within it, and you know, he was efficient eight for sixteen. And I just, I think the guard play has gotten better and solid on both ends of the floor. You mentioned chipping away at that lead, but we. Yeah, I just thought we started driving the basketball, you know, early on. I thought we settled, you know, we were throwing the ball in the post and, you know, we were able to, you know, get a lot of ball and player movement and we got some driving lanes and we drove it and I thought Taylor finished around the rim and I think that was the pressure of it. And, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, your know, teams that get big leads, they relax a little bit and I thought Pitt relaxed a little bit and we were able to, you know, take advantage of some of that. You think this team deserves to be in the NCAA tournament? Pitt? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think they deserve I think we got seven or eight teams that should be getting in the tournament. It's it's unfortunate that um, 10 teams are going to have to roll into Washington, D.C. And, and, you know, try to win the tournament to go. Like, it's unfortunate for our league. Uh, I mean, every game that we played this year has been pretty much competitive. They've been a two, two or three possession game. And um, I love for some of those teams that, that's in the field to have to come to some of these venues and play. So I think Jeff's done a really good job. I think you can make a case for him and, and you know, at least two or three more other teams that should be in compared to the ones that they're saying are going to get in. Yeah. You mentioned the competition with all the teams that have been bunched together through most of the years. What do you think that competitiveness is going to be like next week? I just I told our team in my seventh, uh, six, this will be seven going to the ACC tournament. This is the uh, most parity that I've ever seen. On any given night, anybody can beat you. We don't, we don't have one uh, what anybody would consider a weak team in our league because I think anybody can beat you. You've coached against, uh, you know, Jeff and Pitt for a couple of years now, but these past two seasons they've had Blake Vincent. What do you, from your perspective, scouting him? What have you seen from him that he's brought to this program? Well, I just think he's such a big matchup, you know. And, and even in the game, we had to make some adjustments. Um, if you switch. You know, one through four, you tell me you'll get a smaller guy on him, and you know he does. He's done a good job of you know posting and getting to a mid range and and, and a paint touches and, and some turnarounds. If um, you know you don't, and you try to hedge out a little bit, he's a great pick and pop guy, and he's got great range. And so I think that's what makes him really special. Um, you know, anytime you got a hybrid forward that can score from inside out. They're always the toughest matchups in college basketball. I, I call them the tight ends of college basketball, where a tight end can run, they can block, they can catch. Where you got a, a forward in basketball that's kind of you can move around and do different things. I think that's what makes him a tough matchup. You know, he was the number one tight end in the country as a high school. I did not know yeah. that. So it's fitting. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, I had no idea, but no, he played. He played really well, and um, he's a tough matchup in his head. He's had a really good year. You can see him getting better over the last couple of years, but I think he's had a really good year this year. Was there uh, something that happened in the first half with DJ Horn? I got to get back to the trainer. I just know he, I don't know if he turned something. I don't know what it was, but um, he couldn't go. I mean, we, we looked at him at halftime and he couldn't go. So I got to figure out what's going on with him. And, um, you know, kind of, you know, I kind of, after the game, I talked to the team and then I went straight to radio in here. So I really haven't had a conversation to figure out what's going on. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.